Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. In this, I'm going to help you with finding slideshows that will transform what you're currently using or probably making right on the fly on your own. And it's two websites called Slides Go and Slides Mania. So I'm going to walk you through these two sites, how to get different templates and bring them into Google Slides. I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to type in Slides Mania. We'll start there. And really, there's no subscription. These are free. There are some ads that pop up, so you've got to get rid of those. But you can see up top different categories that they have for you. So since I am in the educational field, I'm just going to click on education and the drop down menu comes up. And you can see all the different types of notebooks, notebook style manipulatives, choice boards, all these different type of slideshows that you could have. I'm going to click on interactive templates. And then you can see that there are different themes for the holidays. And when you find one that you like, maybe you want to do something with interactive notebooks, you're going to click on it. And again, you got to kind of get rid of the ads, but then don't fall for some of these start buttons here or these download buttons here that are dealing with advertisements. You're going to look at what they have, kind of read what they have, and then you will see right here their actual slideshow. So you could actually go through it um, just by clicking the left and right toggles there. But when you come down here, you're going to either see two things, download to PowerPoint and or download to Google Slides. And this is true in both Slides Go and Slides Mania. So we're going to just open it up in Google Slides. Really, there's nothing to download because it will automatically go to our Google Drive. So I'm going to use this template. I'm going to click this blue button in the upper right hand corner. It opens up as the correct size in our Google Slides presentation. You can go ahead and rename it and then go ahead and put this wherever you like. But it gives you the whole template here. And this one seems to be pretty long and it's up to oh, about 22 pages. All of these, if you click on it, you will see that they are linked to the correct slide. So it will go to that slide and then all you have to do is change it to what you want. So that's Slides Mania. Find something you like, pull it in. Very simple. The other one is Slides Go. And I really like slidesgo.com because if I want to create my own presentation, right now I'm charged with dealing with open house for our district. And so trying to find something in the educational field for that, there are many different options. And so trying to find something that will work, you can see there's online notebooks once again. There are advertisements kind of embedded in here. But if you find something that you like, you can change it to anything that you want. So if I wanted a blue color, I could change it. And you can see in this one, there are 53 different slides. So again, advertisements with things to download, you gotta be careful not to click those. And that's one of the reasons for making this video is not so much to tell you how to do your slideshow or your PowerPoint, but to show you how to get these templates and bring them into Google Slides or even PowerPoint. You can see on the right hand side, right again, it says use as a, use a Google Slide theme. And so we're going to use this and download this template it's gonna open up once we make a copy of it into Google Slides. We're gonna give it just a minute. It has made a copy for me and now it's saved to my drive. I can go through these, I can delete anything that I want, I can change anything that I want and I can really make it mine. And it doesn't even have to go along with what they've started with, with school assignments. We can change that font, we can change what it says. So this is really going to help you supercharge your PowerPoint or your Google slideshows. So I hope this helped and I'll see you hopefully in the next video.